Tonight, a WBZ I-Team exclusive. For the first time, we are hearing from the woman whose surveillance cameras captured police entering her home without a search warrant. And that video went viral. Antoinette Callahan is sharing her story only with Chief Investigator Cheryl Fiendaka and says she and her family were terrified. Police, can you open the door? Police, who are you? I'm the police, I told you. <laughs> You're not entering my house without a search warrant. What is going on? We're, see, we're holding the house until we get a search warrant. Okay, why? What is, what is going Distribution on? Distribution of marijuana. Otherwise, we're going to have to ram the door and come to visit her. It was the middle of the afternoon when Framingham and Natick police knocked on Antoinette Callahan's door. This isn't going well here. I was very nervous. I was, um, like, very confused. Speaking only to the I team, Antoinette says on August 7th, she was at home with her children, her son's friend, and the family dogs when the Metro West Drug Task Force showed up, telling the 38 year old mom they suspected her son was selling marijuana. I'm going to count to five. When I went to open the door, the first officer grabbed my arm. My two mini golden doodles, Gracie and Teddy, were up on the couch barking, and Gracie bites officer. He swings and punches my dog. And I'm like, she's pregnant, stop. She's 13 pounds. If that dog bites you, you gotta shoot it. I'm scared, I'm nervous. I don't know if that, if he's gonna pull a gun out and shoot the dog and my daughter's sitting behind him and it's gonna ricochet off my daughter and my daughter's gonna get killed. Police reports obtained by the I-Team show officers started investigating after neighbors complained about cars coming and going at the home. And officers told Antoinette earlier in the day they stopped her teenage son, who allegedly admitted to selling marijuana out of the house. He was worried about my son flushing marijuana down the toilet. But Antoinette says her son wasn't home. It took more than five hours before more officers arrived with the warrant. I had to use the bathroom. And they followed me to the bathroom. And they made me leave the door half open to watch me. How did that make you feel? Embarrassed, um, scared, nervous, you know, sad. The return of the search warrant shows police found 20 marijuana plants, a little more than eight ounces of marijuana, drug packaging materials, about $1,700 in cash, and eight legally owned guns. Came in last and kicked the video camera off. So the, all the cameras went down while they were in my home searching. And my house was in a disaster, and my daughters were crying hysterically. I would initiate disciplinary proceedings against the officers. Tom Nolan is a former lieutenant with the Boston police and a college professor. To have four guys in shorts and t-shirts rolling up on a house, knocking on the door and saying we're the police, in this situation, I can't check any box that says that the police did anything procedurally lawfully correct. I was in fear for our lives, for my dog, my children's lives, my dog's eyes. We didn't know what was going to happen. Police say no one was arrested and that this is an ongoing and active investigation. The I-team has learned that officers have applied for criminal charges against Antoinette and her son for distribution of marijuana and conspiracy. A hearing date is set for October. Meantime, Framingham Police Internal Affairs is investigating the incident. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News.